Hello everybody! Today, this is the solution to Mad Minute 29, okay? So, first of all, again, be a geometry detective. Look at the polygon that you have down here, okay? So, analyze it. It has one, two, three, four, five sides. So, that means N, which is the number of sides, is equal to five. Okay, so then it's asking you, what is the sum of the interior angles of this polygon? Interior means inside. So it's asking you, if you add up all these angles, what is the total? So that means you have to use the formula for sum of interior angles of a polygon. Okay which is equal to 180 and minus two, okay? So this is our equation. SIAP equals 180 times N minus two. Now our solution, what is N? SIAP equals 180 times N, which is five minus two, equal to 180 times 3, which is equal to 540. So that means this plus this plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle will total 540, okay? And the reason, a lot of you uh, put in like a paragraph for the reason. All I need to know is that you know you have to use the sum of interior angles of polygons that's it s-i-a-p polygons okay now the next question is asking okay measure of one okay one of the interior angles okay now if you look at the instructions it says below is a regular polygon and we know that regular polygons, okay, <coughs> excuse me, regular polygons have equal sides and equal angles. So since this is a regular polygon, that means this angle, okay, this angle is equal to this angle, is equal to this angle, equal to this angle, equal to this angle. All of them are equal, okay? So in order to get the sum, what, the measure of one of it, all I need to do is to get the sum of interior angles of the polygon and divide it by the number of sides, okay? Now take note, this is only for regular pentagons. You cannot use, you cannot use this formula for irregular pentagons. Okay, because irregular, irregular polygons, the angles are not equal. So you cannot divide it by the number of sides. Okay, so this is only for regular polygons. Okay, so again, we already calculated the sum of interior angles is 540 and N is equal to 5. So each angle inside is 108 degrees so this is 108 degrees so if this is 108 then this is 108 this is 108 108 108 all of them because it's a regular polygon and all the angles are equal so what is the reason here we are using um, over n because it is a regular polygon, okay? Okay, so let's go to the next question related to this. Remember, each angle equals 108, okay? So now this question is asking you, okay, again, it says regular polygon, uh, pentagon, to calculate for the exterior angle, okay? That means the angle that is outside of the pentagon, 
So exterior, it's outside, okay? So based on this sheet, okay, you know that each angle of this regular pentagon is 108. So I know that this angle is 108. Now look at this. What is the relationship between the interior angle and the exterior angle? It's on a straight line. And we know angles on a straight line are supplementary angles, okay? So they are supplementary angles and supplementary angles total 180 degrees. So your equation would be interior angle plus exterior angle equals 180. Now we know the interior angle is 108 plus the exterior angle equals 180 minus 108 minus 108. The exterior angle is equal to 72. So this is 72. Okay, that's why it has three marks. One, two, three. Now let's go to the next question. Solve for A, okay? This A is an angle, see? There's an angle over there. So, so solve for A. Show your work, include all steps. Now, we did a short revision before this. This type of question is a two-step question, okay? Two steps, okay? The first step is you need to know the sum of interior angles of the polygon. Or else you cannot solve for A because you do not know what adding this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle, what does it total to? You, that's why you need the sum of interior angles of the polygon. So what kind of, uh, what is N? What is N? Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, it's five sides. Okay, it's a pentagon, but it is an irregular pentagon because as you see, the sides are not equal and the angles are not equal. Okay, so we're going to use the equation SIAP equals 180 and minus 2. Okay, now this is step 1. So what is our solution? SIAP equals 180, and what is N? N is 5. Minus 2 equals 180 times 3 equals 540. Okay, so that's the first part. The second part, we know, okay, that interior, we know that the interior angles of the pentagon, okay, equals 540 so we know that if i add this plus this plus this plus this plus the unknown it will total 540 because we said that the interior angles of this pentagon is 540 okay so now let's add all of them so let's start 115 plus 100 plus 82 plus a plus what's this one see that tiny box over there okay that means this is a right angle and it's equal to 90 plus 90 equals let me move this a little bit over here okay equals what Okay, equals 540, okay, equals 540. Now, add like terms together. So, 115 plus 100, okay, let's do it manually, plus 100 equals 215 plus 82 equals 297 plus 90 equals 
387 plus A equals 540 minus 387 minus 387. A is equal to 153 degrees. So A is equal to 153 degrees. Okay? And we use two steps. First, you have to find out the sum of internal ang interior angles of this polygon. And we know it's 540. And then we know internal angles of a pentagon equals 540. Therefore, we know that when we add all of the interior angles, it will total 540. That's how we got 153. Okay? Bye-bye!